painful question do audiences or prospective clients want the answer to when they're considering working with you? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Yesterday, you heard about the first of four types of questions that prospective clients or meeting planners or audiences want to know before they'll hire you. That question was, are you likable or do I like you? Second question is, do you understand my pain? Remember, in speaking, presenting, you're always selling. The only reason people are open to listening to you, to having you speak to their group or meet with you one-on-one -on -one, is because they are having some kind of pain, difficulty, or struggle in their lives. That's the only reason. Otherwise, they would stay in their comfort zone and they wouldn't need to hear you or talk with you. Once you uncover that pain, and sometimes it comes out in the beginning, others it takes some questioning. As a coach, sometimes I have to really dig and find out where people's struggle is with their presentations. Once you've uncovered that, the other person or the other group wants to know, do you understand this pain? Have you experienced it? The best way to demonstrate this is with your stories. Virtually every time I speak, Whenever I take on new clients, whether it's individuals or groups, I share the story of my boss and me having a discussion back in 1994 when I was a financial advisor. You've probably heard that if you see my other tips. It's the one where my boss gave me some incredibly negative feedback from presentations and workshops I'd been doing. His admonition at the end of that meeting was, fix this or else. That was a tough time for me. I was in pain. I was going to lose my job if I didn't become a better presenter or speaker. I share that story with people for them to understand. Look, I didn't just wake up one day and have the skill of speaking. I went through a scary, difficult time. I had to learn how to become a better speaker. That's where people get the message, hey, I understand your pain. If you're a financial advisor, if you've got some type of story about a difficulty in your own life or family member, who struggled with money or retirement or college, something like that, share that story. That lets prospective clients know you understand me. Whatever your field is, whatever your expertise, through your stories, demonstrate that you absolutely know, understand, and can feel the pain of your prospective client. That creates a deeper bond because you're connecting on an emotional level. Tomorrow you'll discover the third question that prospective clients or audiences are asking themselves, if not you, to determine if they're going to hire you and work with you.